well-deserved gold medal recipient of the Pacific Coast Association of Magicians Pro Competition. Uh, please put your hands together for the incredible Master Payne. Yes, 29 years at Camlin Medieval Fair. Sad. I had a friend there who had her birthday party. It was 29 years old, and I went, oh, God, I've been doing Camelot like four weeks longer than you've been alive. <laughs> I hate those epiphany moments. But nonetheless, I was invited to do the close-up show. I told Mike I don't do close-up, but we're going to try anyway. Now, I know this may come as a shock to many of you, <laughs> but I... I'm something of a cynic. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. I wasn't always like this, no. In my youth, I was full of hopes, dreams, aspirations. Life lay before me an uncharted road of infinite possibilities. And then I came across this my very first magic catalog. An innocuous little folio full of possible wonders, unrealized miracles. I was soon, however, to discover it was a doorway to a dark and dismal land full of shattered dreams, <laughs> broken promises. <laughs> one for example. Oh, you're sitting a little far away so you can't read it. Don't worry. I've had it blown up so that we can all share in the misery. <laughs> Easy coin and bottle! Amazing magic and it's best. Truly a fooler dooler. A coin is put inside a real glass Coke bottle. Everything can be examined and passed the closest of scrutiny. A reputation maker. No skill required. Yours! for only five dollars. Doesn't sound like much, but this was 1971. Five dollars was a whole month's worth of allowance. But I had to have it. I mean, how cool was that? If you could put a coin in a bottle, I could finally have friends. <laughs> So I figured out how could it be done because it said bottle not included, which means you got to use your own bottle. So on the way back from the post office after marrying off my money order, I bought a Coke. It came in real glass bottles. You don't see these anymore. It's probably worth like a hundred bucks on eBay. But nonetheless, would you please examine that bottle? Is that a real Coke bottle? Yes, it is. You can't figure out any way to get a coin inside that? Neither could I. That's why. That's why I had to pay five bucks and wait weeks and weeks and weeks and finally it came. Hear that? Oh yeah. It's the sound of potential. <laughs> I've kept it all these years as a constant reminder of the folly of man. <laughs> ah, get out of there. <laughs> 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 Maker. <laughs> it's not the reputation I was hoping for. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? I mean, it must have been my fault. A magic shop wouldn't purposely rip off a little kid. <laughs> we were a brotherhood. I must have read the ad wrong. So I looked back and it said, aha. It just said, a coin. 
<laughs> not an actual 50 cent piece. It was just a coin. It was my fault. Most people would have just given up magic then, but not me, no. No. So when I turned the page, there it was, staring me in the face, coin in cork bottle. Better than coin in bottle, amaze your friends. A real 50 cent piece is put inside a sealed and corked Coke bottle. Totally new method that will fool those in the know. As seen on TV, easy to do. Fifth. $15. But it was a real coin this time. A real 50 I read it five times. A real 50 cent piece. And it was a cork bottle. That was amazing. How could it be done? I had no idea. But I got my 50 cent piece in change from my money order. So I kept that. Is that a real 50 cent piece? It doesn't fold up or bend. It's not one of those trick rubber ones. All right, it's a real thing. So I had that all ready to go. And, oh, yes, I'm sorry. There was a cork. There was that's a real cork. Just hang on to the exam on that cork. Because, and a month later, I got the box. And I ran up to the stairs, and I opened it up, and they did it to me again. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Brand, this was 1971. Coke only came in glass bottles. I'd never seen a plastic Coke bottle before. And you didn't for long. These things outgassed like crazy. Yeah. But they were on the market just long enough for some shyster to figure out a way to rob children of their hard-earned money. <laughs> <laughs> is that a solid bottom on that bottom? Is that a, just one hole in there? Yeah. Put the cork in the hole. There it is. Watch those. That's still the American set piece. Watch this. Watch this. This. There it is, right inside, isn't it? Doesn't that sound great? The angles are bad. <laughs> I couldn't perform this on the playground, they'd beat me up. I know, because I performed this on the playground. <laughs> Don't have people standing behind you when you do this. All right, so that was uh, another $15 down the two. I can't even get it out. There it is. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us would have given up. <laughs> I hate to say I was naive as a child, but I was naive as a child. And so, when this came across, <laughs> the pump was primed. <laughs> <laughs> Everything can be examined. A real American 50 cent piece is put inside a real glass Coke bottle. No special trick coins used. Totally unforgiving bottle like no other method on the market. It just goes right in as what that meant when I was 11. <laughs> Professional version! $75. <laughs> that was six months of allowance, a whole summer's worth of lawn mowing. I read it a hundred times. It was going to be a real 50 cent piece inside a real Coke bottle, and I even had the cork left over from the last one. This was going to be great. I'd finally show all those kids I could do it. I spent off my $75, and I waited, and I, I was just planning my my show. <laughs> it was going to be great. And finally, two months, two months of waiting, 
it came. I came home from school, and there was the box from the magic company. And I ran upstairs, and I ripped it open. A little part of me died that Thank you. 